Jason Dackman, editor of the Sports Video Group here with Keith Horseman from NBA. Uh, we are in the off-season right now, but I believe, Keith, you will assure me that there is no such thing as off-season when it comes to your guys' operations. Uh, what are you guys working on in the off-season leading up to the next NBA season? There's never an off-season because we have the WNBA. Right. It goes on in the summer. However, uh, for the NBA, we, we are looking at a couple of projects. Um, specifically, we started a project last year for continuous feeds where we um, used our different camera angles that we brought in from the replay system and, and, and changed over to them um, during commercials for our international products so that the people watching international on, on League Pass broadband um, could watch what's going on in the arena, watch uh, all of the stunts that go on instead of getting the bill billboard, we'll be back in 10 minutes. Um, so so that's, that's an initiative we did last year. We're doing three games a night. Now we're going to do every game, um, hopefully home and away. Um, so that'll be produced for League Pass as well as distribution internationally. Um, another product we're looking at now is we're focusing our asset management on uh, B2B. Um, so we're going to expose a lot of content out to our customers, our partners, if you will, um, and, and build an API where they can go in, obviously get the distributions they're currently getting, but look for other content that they didn't know about. Um, you know, so if they're subscribed for something specific, the weekly top 10, they'll know that we have nightly top 10s, um, and they'll be able to extract that content and bring that down and use that too. Right. And you mentioned the Replay Center and that massive fiber network that you guys have now. Uh, it's got to be a nice tool to have at your disposal. You mentioned uh, some of the operations that you guys used it for last year, but how has that really made a difference for you guys in terms of bringing feeds in through the HSAN network and, and the Replay Center has its own operations, but obviously NBA Entertainment and, and the various entities benefit from it as well. Oh, it's content. It's every angle. We, we have nine angles per game during the regular season. We bumped it to 12 during the playoffs. Um, and you, you know that once you do that, production's going to want 12 going forward. So we're going to have to figure out how we implement 12 per game if, if we have to next year. Um, but it's content that's going to be stored, restored, uh, moved around the plant, distributed to customers. Um, it, it, it is overwhelming. The, a lot of the topics we've talked about here at the asset management uh, sessions is about that. And it's really, you know, 4K is going to explode this, but the explosions already happened from our perspective um, since we're getting all this content back and, and using it and, and having users stream it and, and uh, create product off of it. Sure. You took the words out of my mouth with 4K. Obviously, the league has experimented with the London game and, and 4K and that kind of thing. You're already having, you know, storage requirements that are beyond belief. Uh, you know, how do you deal with these kind of things, plan for the future while still accommodating for today, especially with the Beyond HD and 4K on the horizon? We're, we're looking at that already. Um, you know, we're, we're designing solutions around analytics we're doing on what users are doing with our content how users are restoring stuff. Um, you know, we're building right now, a, we've built already a 10-day cache for games because we've noticed that that's, it, that's the hot stuff. People are using content uh, up to about 10 days at a 75% hit ratio. Um, we're gonna bump that up over the summer to about 30 days for game and non-game. And we're hoping to get near 80%, 90% of our hits coming off of just this cache and not destroy tapes like we have been in the past, uh, tape and tape drives that we have been in the past. And that, that's where the, you know, more content means more impact on every piece of your puzzle. Well, you have your hands full for the 2015-16 season. Uh, we'll look forward to next season just a couple of months away now. Keith, thanks for joining us.